Right, hello everybody. This is um, Try Tuesday, but it also will go into my next month's Rolodex challenge, which is um, the theme for that is going to be texture. Okay, so um, they wanted to see some backgrounds today. I'm gonna. I've done a lot of work with inks and that, which I will do some more. Um, but this one is going to be acrylic paint and some. Um, I've cut, but I've cut these, you know, so they're more straight lines. Okay, just fancy doing that today because I usually tend to tear, which I love as well, don't get me wrong. And I'm going to use, I've, I've got black gesso here only because it was here. And I've had this a while, so I use that today, but black acrylic is fine too. I've got the colours I'm using are quite old, really. It's black, um, titanium buff. Uh, potassio or lime green that sort of color yeah i'm into this lime green at the moment <laughs> white and i've also got which that will be the combination but then i will swap and do that one as well on another piece okay um yep so what i'm going to do is do the background first with off cuts of paper you know, these, I'm going to use a prick stick, a prick stick, a glue stick today because I don't want those up there. They go on the top, so I'll cut them smaller. Um, I might want to alter the top a bit. Okay. So I'm not sealing it and I'm, I sort of want it so that there's nothing on the top of the paper that I'm using. Um, just for a change because I usually seal it all and I just thought no I'm going to work that way today so I'm looking for a book to lean on okay here's one here dictionary there. okay and I think I've got I've put a pencil mark here to try and keep in shot so hopefully you'll see I might zoom out a little bit and then okay Okay, so I'm going to start off the bigger pieces. I know I'll regret doing this with a glue stick. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing it. Because <laughs> it'll be lifting and oh. It does annoy me. I just thought for drying time as well, so. And I'm sort of, what I'm going to do this time is do the sort of like collage, collage that way. And I do, don't mind if it is upside down, actually. But. And I think I'll put one piece in the middle. Okay, so we start that way, yeah. I'm picking the piece where it has most of the writing on. That's a old ledger book of mine. And when I cut these up for this, I mean, I used all bits, but I put them all together and then folded them in half and then cut them in my machine so that, cause, and, but they were all different sizes, just so that I got all different, you know, I'm not looking at it while I'm cutting it.
um, I cut off bits that says will or probate. Okay, I love all the signatures and writing, but I'm not keen on anything to do with death being in my work. <laughs> and that's why I don't mind covering these up. I love that signature and I love the type font and I'm not saying any of it is show when I finished. Okay, we need some um, book pages, I think.
And I think I have a bit of that up there, but I've got some other bits. That's very fragile, that. Right, let's see if I've got a bigger bit. Yeah, I think that's a bit bigger. Have to go that way. Do I pick them up? I never cut straight with those. When I'm doing this, I'm afraid, folks. <laughs> I don't. Never have done. I think collage is extremely um, relaxing. And so I shall be fast forwarding a lot of that anyway. Okay. Yep, that's fine. Right, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to trim it down. Okay. Um, just so that I get everything square. And then we shall, I'm going to put some more of these stamps from the book on. Okay, I've laid it down like that. Okay, with the stamps from that little, oh, very old book. And um, I will stick them down and come back to you. Okay. But that's the way it's going to be laid out. Okay, I stuck some down, I stuck, and I, I think I stuck a few more down as well. Okay, I know it's going to be cut up, so it do, doesn't really matter. But so I'm going to go ahead and do another one very similar to that, and then stick some stamps on again. Okay, and then come back to you with the both, and then we've got the next um, bit of the process to to do, <laughs> which would be adding the paint and everything. So I'll see you in a bit, okay? I'll just go ahead and do that. And here is the other one. I done, okay? I'm really liking them. Um, I have scanned them in because what I'm doing next will most probably cover most of this and I really like them. <laughs> so it's a bit annoying really. And it makes me feel I don't want to cover them up, but this is what I've, I've got to do. It. You know, I can re recreate them, but I have scanned them in. So that's what I'll do, and then I can have them available then, maybe as a freebie. So, and that's the other one. Okay. But I, oh, I didn't tell you, I've done mine on watercolour paper, or no, mixed media paper, because I don't, don't tend to use watercolour paper for this sort of thing. It's always mixed media, because it takes watercolours okay and everything else, and it's a nice weight. It's not too thick. So, and it makes some nice tags and that. So yeah, I've done that. So I've got doing one that's, um, like I said, in the colours. I'll put that one away. And it's going to be pretty drastic when I do this, mind. And there's going to be black on it. And um, you're not going to see much of the background at all. So, you you know, I've just... You, <laughs> when you watch this, I know some of you will be very annoyed with me for covering it all up. Okay, but like I said, I have made a copy and it will be fine. And this was the whole purpose of this, to actually cover it up and create something else. So they just turned out too nice, really, didn't they? Never mind. Okay, as I was putting the paints out, I've actually changed my mind. I'm going to gesso this first, okay, just in case I want to bring back some of what's underneath. All right, I wasn't going to do that, but I am now. So I'm just going to, I'm going to brayer this on. So yeah, this is Jesse's. I put it on a, what do you call it? A spatula. I never remember the name of them. And um, put it in there. It is a, it's a bit tedious. Okay. When I do it. But it's worth it. Because I only use a little bit and... I just find it easier. Yeah, I sort of like scrape it out of the big pot and then put it in there and scrape it off. As I put it in, I scrape it off and then it fills up. Yep, yeah, bit tedious, but I like it. I don't know what that pen is doing in there. So I shall. I've got a brayer as well, so let me get the brayer out. I've got another new little one because. 
that one was even smaller, which is great. So I've got all the prayers now I need, <laughs> says me. So, yeah. I was looking at it and I thought, oh, I don't know. I'm just going to... Again, I'm not, I don't actually want it totally over. <laughs> you know, I thought, oh, perhaps I should have done it with um, gel medium and then I could have brought it back that way. Uh, shouldn't have turned out too, they're so good. I'm going to do some more of these anyway and then, you know, cut them up for journaling cards because I think they'll look quite good. <laughs> these are my palettes my other one my proper palette is massive and it doesn't fit along the side of me so i've used um, i think i had chocolates in at some point that's my palette for today Yeah, I'm not very good with palette knives because I, I haven't really used it a lot. So it's quite good to use it a bit more now. I sort of use the side and I use the bottom. If you know what I mean. Like that. And I also scrape along that way. <laughs> I can hear you. <laughs> but I think I'm going to be brave and put the black gesso on first. A little bit of that. Okay, I'm, I am going to pick it up <laughs> with my palette. Oh, there we go. I am. It's going to be totally transformed. So, and never mind. Get and do it. <laughs> and it's good practice for me to use a bright um prayer. To use a spatula. Is it a spatula? Not a spatula, it's a kitchen utensil, isn't it? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> That's the first bit. Um, I'm going to use the other two in a minute. Now, remember, once I put the tenor video out to dry it off, it palette knife. But some people do call it a spatula, so I'm okay. I was nearly right. <laughs> I'm going to have a bit of this first. Okay. Yeah, I definitely could um, do with watching some videos on using a palette knife. You don't really take much notice. You sort of watch art. I watch art videos and I think, oh, yeah, that looks great. And sort of totally unaware of them, how they use it. That, right? I don't want to get to contaminate the black in that, but that's enough of that for a minute. And I'm just going to dry that off. Okay, I will say, right, if you get... The heat gun too close to acrylic paint and gesso and things like that, it actually it bubbles. Well, actually, I let it do that because I like it. And, you know, so you will see me, you know, letting it bubble, you know, some here 
I mean, it goes away, but it just creates a bit of texture. I, I really like it. So that's that. I'm going to um, put a bit of white on now. And then I'm going to use the actual green as the sort of top layer. If you know what I mean? Oops. I can't sort of um, tell you why I do what I do when I do it. <laughs> Sounded like a song. <laughs> because I, it's more of a like, yeah, I want to put something there, you know. It's more of a feeling for me. Okay, and now for potassio. A little bit of oil in that one, so I'm just stirring that round. Okay, I like that as it is. I'll tell you why, because when that's cut up, I'm still gonna do a few things. But when that's cut up, I can. It's it's working. Yeah, what I've done. Okay, I'm just gonna just put a bit there. I'm just looking now to make sure, you know, when I'm thinking, okay, it's going to be there. I'm going to have block colour there. If I cut it there, I've got, I've got um, the sort of like the potassio near enough where I need it. Okay. Maybe a tiny bit more black here. If you look here, yeah, I've covered that over a little bit. So I've got loads of back gesso out too. That was a bit too much. Okay. Maybe a little bit here. Yeah, because so you cover it up, you do it, you cover it up, and then you do it again, and then that gives you your different tones and your different, gives you quite a depth to your work. Far too much gesso out. I'm going to put some of that away. <laughs> like I say, black acrylic is fine. Just, it's a little bit wet, so but I'm going over a little bit. Okay. That's fine. We leave that now. I am going to put some of this back there. Far too much out, if I can get it open. I actually feel I want a bit of brown, a bit of that back on. 
I'm looking at it and I think, yeah. Happier with that. Okay. All right, let's do the other one. Just, I am going to put a bit of white on now. And then black. So mixing it up here, mind it's easier to pick up because I can't pick it up in that. I noticed. Okay, let's have um use the focal colour I put too far too much over there then but we will get that back that's okay I dry that off and then I'm gonna use a bit of white okay I wish I'd used um salvage patina of Tim Holtz actually on that but then I just grabbed one I wasn't really thinking because I think that would have been lovely. Okay, right. Let's have get some of this out. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm going to put this away for a minute because I'm going to get them dry. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to cut them up because there's two, there's one size that I need, you know, 
literally and then the rest i'll cut into tags and things so we shall go from there okay all nice and dry now and i need two of these so mine will be a, um do it that way in the roller decks and i'll cut them down the middle so that's four by five now because these are two and a half so i need to go four And then the rest I'll cut into tags, I think. Maybe a journaling card, not sure. I'll just see what happens. So if I do four. Um, oh, no. Uh, yeah, they have four. God. And there. Activate brain, please. And the rest can be tags. the other way well, that's what I mean. oh well <laughs> that's silly wasn't it never mind okay by five okay i can decorate them so shall i keep it intact while i decorate yes i will okay this one has got to be Okay, I have a small journaling card there, which will be fine. Yep, and then that be cut in half and two two ones out of that. So that's that. Right. Yeah, messed up here really. Never mind. That can be a small journaling card. <laughs> this one I'm gonna do tags. Okay, let's have a look. Um, shall I do six? Or shall I do five? I might do five and then, yeah. I think, yeah. So I've done five and a quarter. Just leaves me a bit more, that's all. I'm not sure what length is. Let's do three. Or two and three quarters I think of those tanks just one there and then we've got a skinny one I'm sure we have now that that looks quite balanced actually that size that's nice yeah then we've got a diddy one <laughs> so, all right let's have a look I'm, I'm going to go like that, I think. Five and three quarters there. Yep, yeah, I quite like that size. Is this one I messed up, didn't I? That's a little journaling card, that's okay. Um, I, I just might just take off a bit off there. It's just too wide. Three and a quarter. Done. I cut it to about five. Let's have a look. Sorry, right. because I, I messed up on that first one. Five and a half. Okay, by three. There, and then I'll do this one by three as well. Yeah, that looks okay, actually. All right, and we've got some silly bits left over. But they come in handy for things. Never mind. I've done that a few times actually. I cut the first one right. Now I go sec second one and I just totally lose it. So that's another diddy bit. So this one can go like that. These are upright. 
tags, tags, that's a ditty bit there, tags, that's the two for, that I'm going to do for those, okay, so that's great, so I won't, I won't do all these, I'm just going to do a couple of each, I'm going to do a couple of tags, so I'll do one of those, I really like that one, actually. It's not going to look like that when I finish either. <laughs> I'm going to even block out more stuff. So shall I do those two? Yeah. And they can go in my journal. And I shall... These are going to be kept until um, I do the next month. So... You won't see them till next month. 